Hi, Charmaine. How are you? Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm good. Um, so you're you're dancing at the Hustler Club tonight? Yes. Where do you live? Where are you from? You I'm, LA? Is that where I'm from LA. I live in West Hollywood. Oh LA. yeah. And so you travel around, you dance, you I feature dance. Does it yes. get to be a grind after a while, or how often do you do it? Just oh, once a month, or do you do it every weekend, or how I, often? You know, and lately I have done it every weekend. Um, I did a convention in Chicago about a month ago, and then the next week I was in San Francisco, and the next week I was in um, Miami for a vacation, and then I went to uh, Vegas. I was just dancing last week in Vegas, mm-hmm. and then I'm here. Tell me what Cleveland. how tell me how a porn star parties in Miami. What do you do? Give me the whole rundown because I love <laughs> well, Miami. I want to know lo- how you party in Miami as opposed to how pale whitey like me parties in Miami. Well, right, <laughs> where she gets in and where you don't get uh, in. Everywhere, right. right? Yeah. Oh, you're not paying uh, the hundred dollar cover at Live when you go there. Okay. Um. No, I actually, you know, it was my type of vacation. It's just like literally laying out all day by the pool or beach, and then having a nice dinner, going to the spa. That's exactly what I did. I didn't even go out. You don't even go to clubs. Mm-hmm. You don't go I mean, crazy I, and party. I live in and LA and I'm near Vegas. There's enough so. clubbing and stuff yeah. like that out there so that you don't need getting to... away was nice to just relax and right. you know. Right. Eat, you know, fuck and sleep. Oh, oh wait. No, that's all right. <laughs> you could say you could say that. That's why we have a dump button for okay. <laughs> What do you have? A boyfriend or something? Girlfriend? Yes. Both? What do you have? Boyfriend? I, yes, I have a boyfriend. Was he let me guess. He must be in the industry too. No. Right? No? No. That's not oh, how I you met them. I civilians. I like civilians. The most, most I want to get them into, you know. Most girls that come in, they, it's how they meet their boyfriends. It's so, you know, like, oh, I was, you know, Re- uh, Roddy Rocket or whatever. I met him on, you know, <laughs> God knows what set. Uh, how'd you meet this uh, boyfriend? Um, he's, he's in the promotional industry and he booked me to do, um, host a club, a nightclub, and he's in that industry where mm-hmm. he's a, like a, a, a promoter. Mm-hmm. So and he you, booked you, me years ago. Hit. It was like ten years ago when I was like, you know, young. <laughs> when you were six, right? Yes, exactly. Exactly. Um, <laughs> so, know? so, so you hit it off ten years ago. You've been you've been dating this guy all of ten we were years. On and off for ten years. Oh. Yeah. Why on and off? What do you guys fight every now and then? Or well, what no, happens? because we had a long distance relationship. I mean, he's from Toronto. Oh, mm. that makes it a little bit more difficult, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I actually like actually, it Actually, it probably saves it. Then you don't I, have to deal with the guy day in and day out. I, You know what? Yeah, exactly. He probably would have been sick of you nine years ago if you guys were actually <laughs> seeing each other all the time, it's living true. together. Yeah, right? No, that could work, I guess. So you go down to Miami, you guys just have sex nonstop for a whole weekend? Well, we just, I mean, he has a busy schedule. I have a busy schedule. And, you know, like getting away and just, you know, relaxing and not, you know, dealing with all the fuss and mm-hmm. craziness and traveling. It's nice to just kind of, be quiet and eat and relax, mm-hmm. you know, like a vacation. Now, are you able, if you have, since you have this boyfriend, does that mean that you can only, and he lives in Toronto? Yes. And you live in LA? Yes. That means you can't get laid whenever you want. Does that mean that, are you, does he allow you to have sex with other people occasionally, or do you have like certain people, or is that just, that's no go? You can't, you can't do I'm, it. I can, yeah, I can. I came to this, I, you know, this point where I, I mean, he can as well. I think it's just after 10 years of like, you know dating him on and off Mm -hmm. at this point like i don't mind if he does but he chooses not to and i choose not to as well do you think he would tell you if he did like let's say he went out last night and he went to a bar he has a few drinks some hot chick no you don't think so no he doesn't drink he doesn't drink at all just works yeah. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it kind of works for me. Like, mm. I, I totally don't mind, but he chooses not to. So it's like, I'm not going to force the guy. How old were you when you first got into porno? I started when I was 20. Yeah. And and, and what, what, how did you, what, what drew you to that? I mean, there must have been some reason why you decided, all right, I'm going to do this. Yeah. I was, well, I was working at Nordstrom at the time. I was working, you know, in the offices and it was, you know, Nordstrom is not a bad place to work but um i also did some modeling gigs here and there and Mm -hmm. then i had an agency that was you know that they also booked uh doing you know adult stuff like magazines for penthouse Mm -hmm. and hustler and um they kind of passed my pictures on to them and they were interested so i just kind of went in for an interview just because and they were interested so they paid me a lot of money for a cover so the first time you do it it's just is, are you just like posing nude and stuff? Or are you actually like getting railed and everything in the I first? I was my first... Fir- very first layout was with a girl, and okay. I've never been with a girl before. 
And it was actually really a great experience because I, you know, there's so it's a, I mean, it's a big studio. It's Larry Flint's like, you know, Hustler's, you know, like studio. Right. It's huge. And people, there's professional people around, photographers, makeup artists, everything. So, I mean, I, I was more excited than, you know. And then, so you've never been with a girl before. I've never been with a girl before. I never shaved down there. Oh, boy. And you they, never even shaved down there. I mean, I kind of shaved a little bit, like, yeah, right. you know, like the bottom, but like they wanted to trim it a little bit. Nicer. Of course. Right. So that was fun. You did, know? They, did they have to do that for you or did you do that? Did they I warn did you in it. advance? Do they go, hey, listen, uh, shave down there? Or or do you get there and someone, you know, no, just take I, off your robe and they go, whoa. Get the weed whacker out. Yes. Yeah, right? Come over. Well, quick. No, I, well, I saw the other girl and I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I should. Kind of, you know, like trim mine a little bit, so uh-huh. I did. and then it worked out. So, so then, <laughs> so then you do like, I mean, are you doing full on sex with this girl, or is this you more know, like, okay, I'm gonna put my face right next to your crotch and take a picture? Yeah, it was more like, I mean, me discovering and like, wow, this is like the first time I've ever been like very close to a girl, even make out. I mean, mm-hmm. we're not really going full on, but. You know, I'm cl- that close to a girl, right. you know. And, and you're naked and all these people are naked. taking photos. Yeah. And then, like, you know, at some point her crotch is in my face. And, <laughs> you know, I'm, like, sitting on her. You know, but you're posing. So it's, right. like, it's such a slow process of kind of discovering, okay, right. am I, you know, am I okay with this? Before you know it, they're like, okay, bring out the eight black guys. <laughs> and you're like, what? Well, how did this? Exactly. It's very slow. It just progressed to that. Uh, so, so then did you... Uh, were you nervous this first time that you did it? Or? I was a little nervous, but I think I was more excited. And I think that's when I knew that I could be in this industry where I'm not, I wasn't even like, you know, do you tell your, pa- do you tell your parents what you're doing or do you keep that secret? I, for well, a while? my parents, my parents do know now, but, yeah. um, at that time, um, they didn't. And I told, you know, my, my young brother and I said, just don't tell mom, don't say anything. Mm. But his friends in high school, you know, they started, they, they saw my, my cover, the right. magazine, cause they published it literally in like six to eight months or something. Yeah. So he, he did tell my mom and that was not cool. Oh, that's how your, yeah. f- your parents found out. So your brother goes my to My brother your goes to my mother. And he shows this to no, her no, no. or He's what? He's like, oh, you know, my friends are, sh-, you know, like he just kind of right. ratted me out. And then I, I, I did you my kick mom. his ass? No, I didn't. No. I, did, I couldn't get mad at him at that point. I was like, okay, I have to, you know, open up. And then I, my, so, I mean, my parents are very supportive. What did your mom do? Did she call you then, like you're at your place or wherever? No, I you're... actually I was um, visiting her at the time, and we were just driving somewhere, and mm-hmm. she, we had like that talk, you know, and I kind of. <laughs> I don't. And she's like, we had that talk, you know. I go, I don't know. I don't know how okay, that yeah, talk the, would go. That porno. Is, I'm in the porno the por- world. The now. porno talk is like. Are you are you sure you're doing you know the right thing? Are you you know I don't know if you're going in the wrong direction and right and I'm like I'm fine like look at the I even showed her I said it looks beautiful I mean look at it's like art right. you know I wasn't really I mean it's just by myself and you know just kind of posing and stuff yeah and she was like okay I get it I see your point you know she's just be careful you know she was very more supportive but then did she know that you were going to end up in co-ed sea suckers number ten though. Oh. Uh, what is that? That's a movie. That's, oh, really? Well, that's what? what it says. You made your adult film debut in Co-Ed yeah. Sea Suckers 10. Okay. No, she didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> so did she, show her that did one. Did she know <laughs> that, I mean, did she know that you were going to go on beyond, like, just, you know. What, no, you know, no, she didn't know that. No. And I didn't tell them. I mean, you know, I only kind of just made it. You want to, you want to make it as innocent as possible. I didn't want her to give her a heart attack, I mean, right. for God's sake. Right, right, But, you know, she's, I mean, she visits me in LA and she sees how I live. I live a pretty decent life i live mm. in a nice place i drive a nice car i i'm healthy like what you know there's nothing you know wrong speaking of that like this yeah. uh, this whole thing now i just uh, this big story now is that this broad who uh, was sexting with anthony weiner mm-hmm. she makes her porno debut oh uh, she di- oh my god really? where yes but oh this this gets good let me see where's that article rob do you have a copy of that article for me we talked about it earlier. Sydney, Sydney Leathers. Leathers is this oh chick's my name. Lord. Is so, she a stripper or something? No. Well, I don't know what she was. Uh, she was. Uh, I don't know if she was a stripper or not. Was she like normal? So she sexed with Anthony, Anthony Weiner, who was running for mayor of, of New York that, City, yeah. and mm-hmm. so then she comes out and Vivid, of course, they they love anyone who's in the news. They just oh, I'll, we make a porno, we'll pay you for that. That's their that's their mm-hmm. whole you know shtick. Yeah. 
So she does it, but now the first scene that she does was was with some guy, Xander Corvus or something, okay. I think. You know who that yeah, is? Yeah, I know of him. Okay. Yes. The Xander Corvus, the last sex scene he had prior to this Sydney Leather sex scene was with some girl mm-hmm. named Cameron Bay. Do you know who that is? Mm-hmm. Cameron Bay is uh, just found out like uh, yesterday or the day before that she tested positive for the HIV. Oh, okay. Wow. I see. I heard about that as well. Yeah. I, 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 I'm still kind of active in the industry. Mm-hmm. Like, like I just do girl, girl, mm-hmm. um, you know, cause I'm, I do mainstream now. So I don't, you know, not, I don't know a lot of the new people. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I know of them, but I don't know, like. Them. So they uh, they shut down. I guess it like they they, they, they week, stopped. They, they stopped production. Every right. week, every company stopped production. Then they have to track down who's all slept with who or whatever. Everybody gets tested if, if they worked in the past, like maybe a couple of weeks or to a month. Mm-hmm. They have to retest to see. They they have to see the timeline of who worked with who. You know, because everybody's shooting like every week. So what that if that person worked with that person and that person worked with that. You know, like. Right. Whoever. They have to backtrack all the way. backtrack to see who, yeah. So Cameron Bay tests positive for the HIV. Her last unprotected sex scene was with Xander Corvus. Xander yeah. Corvus then has an unprotected sex scene with Sydney Leathers. That's Sydney Leathers' first sex scene. Right. And that's the girl that, that that's was the sexting, sexting girl. girl. Right, <laughs> right. How weird would that be if she ends up in her first sex scene getting a... Uh, the, the HIV. HIV. I the mean, HIV. holy well, moly. you know, I mean, that's How like, nerve-wracking was it for you? I mean, I know you put it in the back of your mind, but just like a race car driver does. I mean, a race car driver can, can die from, from that, but I'm assuming yeah. they don't walk around thinking about it all the time. But sure. you must have been somewhat nervous about it throughout the years. So, you know, I, I um, years ago when I did was, when I was very active working in the industry working, I only had maybe a short list of guys that I worked with. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe two or three, and at the time it was very regulated. It was, I mean, there was it was a smaller, you know, like just industry where, you know, it w- there's not a lot of new people that were coming in so fast, mm-hmm. and so I worked with the same people, you know, and they're professionals like Randy. Sp- Spears. I don't know if you know. I don't know if you know porn. But, uh, no, not not and, particularly. I don't know. Randy Spears. There's and, a couple. Pe- and there seems to be only two or three guys. They're in every friggin' movie I see. It's the same dude all, over and over and over again. Right. It's crazy. Yeah. But I, you know, nowadays I don't know what it is anymore. Like mm-hmm. they even they go from outside. They have sex from outside sources, and a lot of the new ones that I've heard, they you know they've gone the other way. Like they have worked in the gay porn. So mm-hmm. I I don't you know I'm kind of like. I just don't know what's going on. I, yeah. it's, it's very to me. This is a crazy like surprise. So you just do girl on girl stuff now, like yes. for your website and things mm-hmm. like that or whatever. And your boyfriend's okay with that. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't mind that. You ever had threesomes with your boyfriend and another girl? No, or, I'm not you know? really into that. I don't mind. So you're pretty much work. telling me that you are uh, pretty much on the straight and narrow outside of work. I am. Yeah. Which is interesting it's to me. It's very really. rare, right? <laughs> no, no. Well, you no. know what I have found? No, no, it is rare, I think. What I have found, though, is that uh, uh, most of the girls in uh, in porn, I've found, if you, you would sort of have the idea that they're uh, a bunch of stupid party animals. But mm-hmm. I don't think that, m- the, at least the ones that I've met, not not most of them have been that way. It doesn't seem okay. like that. Like, you seem you have I don't know why, why. I know. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know where that stereotype came from. But I'm sure, I mean, I, I, hey, I've partied in my days, you yeah. know, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I love, you know, I'm sure you have as well, but I mean, it's a business. I treat it as a business. I don't, I've never dated anybody in the industry. I, you know, work is work. Like I come in and I do my, my job and I leave, Yeah. you know, and th- I look at it that way. How much money can someone in porno make? I mean, can you make nowadays? Uh, yeah, and now it's probably a lot harder, isn't it's a lot, it? It's a little harder. You have to build, you know, a name and a fan base. What year did you start? It says uh, it was 19... like 2000 or something. Yeah, late 1998. It says. Yeah, it was like 1999, 2000. So, you they... could make more money back then. You think? At that time, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, because it was but... very. I mean, it was 
I mean, it was growing. Now, if you have now a lot of if you have your own website and everything, can you make can you sort of supplement what you're not making in the actual porno world with your own stuff uh, these days, or is it harder because? Look, I'm a guy. I consume porn absolutely free on all of those sites. Who's going to pay for it? Is that what makes it so difficult to make money now? You know, uh, see, I'm just for me. I don't compare myself to a lot of the new ones because they don't have a, they didn't build a brand and name for ten years that I've been in the industry. So I have my fans that you know go to my website and they're members, you know, and they want to see you know all the new content, my exclusive stuff. So, and then especially when I feature dance as well, you know, they come see my shows, you know, I, you know, nowadays, I don't know like how they're going to build any type of fan base. I'm sure they do. And I don't know. Do you have a bunch of uh, guys just with like Asian fetishes that are after you, or is it just people that like you because they, they like you, or is it mostly fans of yours are like into the Asian thing? You know, I, before it was the Asian thing, you know, uh, it, but nowadays I notice every time I do a show, it's um, a lot of couples. They, really? you know, they love watching me because I think it's like I'm, I, I look a little bit more normal compared right. to a lot of the porn stars. Usually they, you know, like if you you think of porn star, it's like big boobs and big hair, yeah. and, you know, all this stuff. I'm nothing Average like looking. I'm, I mean, yeah. I, I don't mean that in a bad know, way, but. And I'm very natural. Right, right. So they, you know, a lot of the women, they compare themselves to me that they can watch it with their husbands or boyfriends. And then they, you know, they, they entertain themselves watching me. What it's nationality are you? I'm Filipino. Oh, Filipino. All right. My stepdad is Filipino. I have, my what? sisters are, yes. Oh, wow. Look at you. I know. I'm so pale. I mean, I'm the opposite of Filipino. Over there. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the anti-Filipino. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my sisters are, uh, well, they're half Filipino, white, oh, and half. yeah, they're they're half. And then my because so my so you step have some Filipino food and stuff like that. I've never been words. to the Philippines. My sisters have been to the the Philippines, and uh, you know, my uh, stepdad is very difficult to understand because he's you know all of a sudden he, he's got that accent, then he speaks Tagalog or whatever it is. And, <laughs> They mix that in with English. They just and, that's, and then I told her. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's really, uh, it's really. So, were you were you born in the Philippines or are you born here? Yes, I was born in the Philippines. Yeah. Do you ever go I, back there? I haven't been back, but I'm planning to go back soon. Yeah. Um, because now that they're allowing me to, I mean, like before it was like, oh, porn. Oh, know? they wouldn't even allow you in the because Philippines. Because it's a very huh? religious country. Right. They're all Catholic there. Yeah, but nowadays it's like, oh, she's cool. She's friends with Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. Did you have, did you, have you ever slept him. with Manny Pacquiao? No, I've never. No. no. But would you? No. Even though you have a boyfriend? He looks like my, he looks like my brother. Or yeah, I know, you but know? come on. He's like the most famous Filipino that there is, right? No, I like, I like you know, white guys. You like white guys, yeah, do you really? I don't even date, yeah, any Filipino. No. no it's, I, so you, it's just too close to home. I'm not, yeah. I'm not into, I'm, I, it's. Everyone in the Philippines loves Manny Pacquiao. I okay? love Manny. Yeah. Don't you love Manny? Oh, pff, of course. I mean, you have a, fam a Filipino he's, family. Uh, he's a badass. I love Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> he's you know you know the, yeah, the boxer, course, yeah. the little dude, but he's man, he's uh, he's he's great. Those little guys are even better to watch than the the heavy the heavyweight division is so boring now. There's Slow no or yeah. Some, yeah. Oh my God! There's no one exciting in the heavyweight division now. So those little guys are so are fast. the ones to watch. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. yes. More action. That's right. Yeah. Do you, do you ever go to any boxing matches? Do you? I have been once uh, a yeah. De La Hoya fight years oh, yeah. ago. Yeah, I you know, I that's when I when I've been to like so, see it live. I I just absolutely love live seeing anything live. Did and you ever I, see those pictures of Oscar De La Hoya dressed as a woman? Yes. <laughs> what do you think of that? You go, "Wow. <laughs> I thought I was crazy. I'm in porn. This guy's a friggin' You know, I nut. I think it takes balls for a man to do that. <laughs> oh, no, I, yeah, it I, took something. To be honest, I think like I think it just shows that you're more of a man that you're comfortable, you know, that you can do this, but you know. What if though? What if you were dating a guy and he mm -hmm. said, "I want to dress up as a woman and put on these fishnet stockings and, you know, and would you go?" Uh, if I really love him, then like maybe once and then I'll, you know, I'll be okay Just with it. give it a shot, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll try, you know, anything like, once. Has your boyfriend ever wore fishnet no. stockings? Oh, my God. No way. I doubt that. There you no. go. Oh, what do I, oh, there he is. There's Oscar De La Hoya. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So someone, so apparently what he did is he dresses up like this in the whole like fishnet bodysuit <laughs> and like everything. Wig oh, it's not just a wig. A... Oh yeah, he's got a wig on in one. He's wearing heels and stuff. And, and he's uh, wearing his boxing gloves. Yes. It just shows like, hey, I'm still masculine. <laughs> yeah. But then uh, <laughs> I think the story is some girl took these pictures of him 
and then leak them. You know, like he he just he, he didn't I, want these yeah. to get out. Well, why would he pose for those photos if he's so ashamed of it? Why, speaking of Anthony Weiner, why after he had to resign from Congress would he keep sexting random girls? Because they can't help it. Oscar De La Hoya can't help it. This is his They want to be porn stars. It's his fetish, right? <laughs> he can't help what he's into. And he, he, he even- So let me ask you a question. Would you do it? Would I would dress up as- Would you wear fishnets? Uh, don't I mean, lie. It, no, don't lie. I don't know about for sexual pleasure, but I mean, if someone paid me, they go, "Hey, we'll pay." I mean, we'll pay a couple grand to wear some. If the I, chick wouldn't was bother really me. hot, and she goes, "Just put them on for a second. You wouldn't do it. <laughs> he has. Yeah, Dieter I has. Had one time. What's, what's wrong with that? She was hot. I wanted to impress her. I'm not gonna hide behind it. <laughs> He also you are going to get laid if you're... <laughs> he also had a girl dress him up as a gingerbread man one time in, yeah, in the bedroom. That, that wasn't good. <laughs> you know, that is a fetish. I, You know, people wearing costumes, like mm -hmm. big costumes, like those... Whatever. All those furry like yeah. outfits and that kind of... What's the weirdest it's, thing? That's I would do something like that. Has there that's ever fun. been anything... And uh, Charmaine Star is going to be at Larry Flint's Hustler Club tonight at 10 o'clock and at Hi. midnight. She'll be dancing over there. Mm -hmm. uh, for info, call 216-394-0191. Um, has there ever been anything that, that they came to you? This, someone's making a porno and they go, all right, Charmaine, we want this, 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 and this to happen. And you go... Get out of your mind. Get the hell out of here. Yes. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Often? Or? Well, no, no, no. Usually my, I, it's, it, before I even get into my shoot, my, my manager calls me and says, oh, there's, you know, they want to book you for this type of shoot. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, you know, that's no, you know, it's not a problem. And then they, you know, they, they do, but if it, you know, sometimes they kind of slip in other, you know, like an extra scene or. Or they make me stay longer. That's okay. But they've never really, you know, because I've been around for so long. They've like, never, like, came to you and go, okay, so we... we uh, changed our mind. Mandingo is done. <laughs> now uh, we're actually bringing a, a donkey here. Yeah, like, right? you've never had anything like no. that. No. 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 All right. I'm pretty, I'm pretty easy, you know, when it comes... Yeah. I mean, if I... if I, I've done anal. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not a big deal. Well, porn though, star yeah. hasn't, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe some of them don't. Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, I think it's. Have you won any AVN awards or anything? I have. I just been nominated. Yeah. I. I don't think I. I've gone. I now. I don't know. I don't know if I've. I just haven't taken it that hard. I guess like yeah. gangbangs or anything. I no. don't know. Like what the, did you? What were you nominated? What were you nominated bit, for? I was uh, for best couples uh, like best couple sex scene. Uh huh. Uh, BJ. Uh huh. Um. Solo masturbation. Oh wow! You know, so those are the simple ones. But I, I dated a girl. I dated a porn star, and we went to Avian. She was up for best anal that year, and that was like my greatest. That was my crowning achievement. Okay, just being so there. she won. No, yes. she was just nominated. She was nominated. She was nominated. That's good enough for me, though. Hey, you it know, me, I like right? it too. I like right. being nominated and being, you know, right. recognized. Yeah. There's like, I guess there's a new, re there's a new one coming called the Sex Awards. So mm -hmm. I'm nominated for uh, sexiest body. Mm. So if you guys vote for me there on the sexawards.com. <laughs> and then you could, uh, then you, who knows what you get when you, you actually win. Know. You get a little trophy or yeah. whatever, yeah. I guess. And and, uh, and then. then uh, and you win some, yeah. That, yeah that's something. right. Um, <laughs> your your sister is in porn too, right? She she did it years ago. She tried it once and she was, it wasn't for her. She didn't like it. No. Did you tell her, were you like, hey, did, you should yeah. try yeah. this and you can yeah. make some money doing this? Yeah, I did. And then afterwards, she was, she's just like, "Are you kidding me?" No. <laughs> <laughs> did your parents really want to kill you? Because then, at that point, now you're yeah. trying to corrupt the, yeah, you know, I your did. sister. Was she yes. younger or older? She than was you? older. Yeah. But she was. I mean, she tried it. And she's like, "Okay, it wasn't for me." What does she do now, though? Is she like an accountant um, now or well, something? She, yeah, or? she was. She was in school for nursing mm -hmm. and stuff. So now she's a house mom. All right, so she doesn't have, I was going to say, because like that sort of follows you around for a while. Like if you end up, yeah. she goes to school, and then let's say she becomes a nurse. Someone yeah. there at the hospital is going to find out. They're going to go, hey, this is the girl that was I in mean, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that was like blah. years ago. Oh, so you'll find that wasn't... stuff out, though. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, people... you can. But, it, I mean, like, it was, it, it's long enough to, like, forget. I mean, like, it's, and it's not a big deal now. Before mm. it was for a long right, time. Right, right. So, but now it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, it probably isn't as big of a deal now as it used to be. Uh, it used to be, yeah. It used to be, like, a big deal. But now it's like, oh, okay. No, no big deal. A lot of the girls that... We're in the industry 10 years ago. I don't even see anymore. There's only a few of us. Mm -hmm. 
you know, like I still have like my girlfriends like Tara Patrick and Kalani sure. that have known like almost 10 years in the industry still, you know, like, but a lot of them, I, they've disappeared. I don't even know where they're, right. I don't know where they go after. I think they usually go back to school and, you know, or get married and have kids. Go on. There was some a documentary that they made called, I think it was called After Porn or something like that. I just watched it because it was on Netflix. It was okay. It wasn't a great documentary. What did it show what girls do after they get out? Yeah, yeah. It was. It was okay. It's nothing great. I wouldn't. I don't know if I would highly recommend that. Uh, that it was boring. Yeah, I thought it was kind of boring. Who was in it? I just watched it because Raylene was in it. That's who okay. I used to date. So uh, okay. Uh, that's the only reason why I watched it. I was actually going through Netflix, and I see this thing, and and <laughs> and I go, "Holy crap, Raylene's in this! Let me watch this." So I watched it, and I had to sit through like an hour and a half of like, it's pretty boring. And then she comes <laughs> on at the end. She's like the last one in the video. She's not in it a whole lot. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. not in the. She, you know, there's I forget who else was in it that was okay. featured a lot oh, more than, than her or whatever, but. Uh, what are you gonna do uh, ten years from now? I well, I mean, I, I right now I've been working on um, a TV show. I produced this uh, TV show, so hopefully it'll get picked up. What's the TV show about? It's, it's called Eating Out with Charmaine. Oh yeah, and I it's don't a know. dining so, show. It's sounds amazing. good, but yeah, it's a good name, with, Eating Out with Charmaine. Perfect. It's catchy. Thank you. <laughs> Um, well, it's a mainstream show. It's a dining yeah. show where I, you know, I book a lot of the girls in the industry or in any adult industry and we dine and we talk about sex and, and personal, you know, like just our normal life. Oh, no, that's a good idea. I like this. While dining in different restaurants. No, I think that could be good. That could yeah. be a hit. Who are you going to try? What network you want to get that on? Um, well, we've been, we, we've been waiting now for a while to, you know, have it picked up by like, you know, main, like Travel Channel, Bravo. Right. HBO Showtime. Sounds like a good idea. You already filmed the pilot yeah. for this. Yeah, we shot it, so we're just waiting. For it was that. good. Yeah. Were you happy with the way that it turned out? Um, you know, like I now that I'm on the, behind doing all the stuff behind the camera, I'm learning right. as I'm going, at, like producing. So if you were to redo it, you'd do it ten times better. Is yeah, what you're of course. Me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's perfect. Right. You know, we, I mean, you look at like the very specifics of the sound and. You know, like just the way everything. I mean, like the editor is good. Mm -hmm. um, the director shot it very well. I'm very pleased with it. I like how everything was very HD and the lighting was great. So I look at, pay attention to all that mm -hmm. stuff. So yeah, I, I'm I'm satisfied with what we got. I mean, we it took like five different edits, but you know, I'm okay with it. Right do now. you want to like uh, get married and squirt out some kids uh, later in life? Yeah, I definitely want to do it at some point. Yeah. You know, I got to find Mr. Right. So yeah, that's why I've been dating him for Toronto, 10 years. That's why I'm like Toronto. Maybe I should. Right. I should just, you know, move, <laughs> move up there. And I, you know, I, I've been living in kids. LA. I, yeah, exactly. What am I going to do? I bet the LA. winters in Toronto are going to drive you crazy though. Cause you, you yeah. grew up in California. I'm you're a gonna, California girl. Right. For sure. You're going to you move up to Canada. You talk to me in January or February. You'll be <laughs> yeah. going crazy. You want to kill so. this guy and but move back like, to California. It's like, okay, if I want to be with somebody and, and have a kid, this he's the only one that I could trust and be with. Yeah. I can't find some L LA guy. I mean, yeah. what am I going to do? What were all the times that you guys, you said you were on and off again? What, what did you guys fight about? What, what did you guys we break up fought. about? You he, never fight? He is so, he's the sweetest guy I've ever met. He's the most open minded, sweetest. I mean, Canadians are pretty open minded with sex. I mm -hmm. don't know if you guys know, noticed that, but. Like he was very easy going with my industry. I mean, we've never fought. He's never been angry, or really? I've never been. I mean, I've always been angry. Who at was him. the girl that came in? What was her name? Why can't I think of a blonde? And we we put her out, and we did the scavenger hunt. Tasha you could have Ray. sex. No, you could have. It wasn't Tasha. Al Ray. Alexis Ford. Alexis, Alexis Ford. Ford. Was, oh, I like. Yeah. We did a scavenger hunt. We okay. put her out in the yeah. city. We gave out clues, and if you found her, you could have sex with her. Oh um, my god, for real. Yes, yes, but then the guy was such a loser that he botched the whole this thing. Alice like, I'm not... guy, he drank way too much wine. I think he passed out. Yeah, and she's like in the back of the limo with this guy, like, I'm ready to put out, and here he is, like, passed out. It was he total she, embarrassment. I she mean... made him suck on her toes the entire car ride home because she wanted to humiliate him, and then she took pictures of it. Well, she wanted to test his skills. If you made her foot feel good, yeah. she would let him move up, but he couldn't get past the <laughs> so, foot. So, yeah, he passes out after like 30 yeah. seconds. Yeah. Oh I might God. pretend like I'm passed out, too, if some chicks like suck on my toes and be like, oh, I'm too drunk, I'm passing out. Um, <laughs> that's his laugh right that's there. Um, <laughs> but oh, anyhow, man. she was uh, she was telling, uh, telling me a story. I went out to dinner with her, and she was telling me this story about her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And... 
how they fight and they were in a restaurant like literally the night before I'm out to dinner with her. She's in New York. She's uh, at a restaurant with her boyfriend and he picked up a friggin' cheeseburger and threw it in her face at the restaurant. And I just thought oh to my myself, God, that's insane. who can live like this? No. But, uh, but, uh, but, you know, they're like still together probably. Oh, I'm hell sure. no. Yeah. No, 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 no. You wouldn't put up with that. Oh, hell no. If Mr. Toronto threw a cheeseburger at your face. You know what? Can I tell you a funny story? We were in Napa, and um, we t- you know he took me to Napa. Right. Very Romantic, yeah. yeah. Wine country. Wine country, nice. And I actually did a show a week before. I was exhausted. After doing a show like this, I'm tired. Like, yeah. you know, you're up all night. And I was just, I wanted to sleep in a little. So he threw a pillow at my face and said, are you ready? Let's get up to go to the spa. And he just kind of threw the pillow the wrong way. Oh, boy. <laughs> and, I, and I left him in Napa. <laughs> oh, you went home? I left. I said, I'm leaving oh, you here. Oh, my God. And wow. I left. I drove. And then I went to the airport, changed my flight, and I thought about it. I said, okay. And I called my friend. They're like, just go back. Drive back there. So I ended up driving back. You drove to all the-, the way back, tail between your legs. And then what did you do? Like, <laughs> I I'm so sorry. I went to the airport in, in Sacramento. And then I drove back to Napa. It's like an hour and a, like an hour drive back. And what did he do when you got back? He just laughed at me. He goes, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> every chick, every girl, I'm telling you, they are all nuts. They are all literally crazy. I mean, it's just so that's that, that was probably our like biggest quarrel, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So that's a nice guy for you, right? Uh, if you put up, if you can put up with that, sure, right? I mean, girls right. are. I'm the not kidding. Smallest thing is set them off. Right. You no, I mean a pillow. Okay. Right. right. I'm sorry, but you know, I mean, whatever. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. You just... seem you seem kind of normal though. You don't seem like real crazy. I mean, I have a little craziness. Yeah. I'm not. The better you know. the the crazier the girl, the better they are in bed. Yeah. yeah. Well, that that and also they, that means they really care and love you. <laughs> See, I don't know if that's. I don't know if I. And respect. I respect. I mean, if I, you know, I mean, there's like different crazy. You know, there's different levels of crazy. How do I we... don't stalk. Okay? No. I may stalk on like Twitter or Instagram, but right. not, you know, like stalk, stalk you. Right. You know, like not like behind like the walls or the, you know, window staring and watching you or every move. <laughs> <laughs> Who, um, how do people, uh, when they find out, like when guys meet you and stuff, they find out that you, that, that you do porn out. Do they treat you uh, with respect or they treat you like, oh, this chick must be a slut and I can get into her pants? No. I mean, if, if I'm dating a guy and I'm getting to know them, I would tell them just, yeah, straight in the beginning mm-hmm. and I have to feel them. I, I have to listen to them and, and hear their conversations if they do have some type of disrespect or, you know, and it doesn't, you know, it's not, you're not going to get in my pants like the first night. It's going to take a couple dates yeah, because I want to see how you are, you know, when I eat with you, I want to see how you are when I, you know, like just do normal things with you. Sure. If I'm, you know, and if, if you can carry a good conversation, you know, and then the kiss too. And that's very important. When you make out, you with, make me, out with the girl. Yeah. If I make out with you and it's good, then I guess everything else. What makes it good? If a guy's going to make out with you, what would make it good? Um, It would have to be like, I would just have to feel it. Yeah. Yeah. I would have to feel it, the tingly thing, the feeling and, you know. Do guys nice do all sorts lips. of like weird stuff? Like sometimes like they like dart their little tongue the like lizard. a lizard or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've had that once before. It was so gross. I was like, what the hell is this? You know, and or they're just like licking, like practically licking your whole face, and like, like I've had chicks do that to me. I go, wait, like, what? Are you a dog? Or are you a girl? Right. What's going on they lick here? Lick your teeth. I got one in your teeth. I'm like, what is that? I need to go to the dentist or something. They're feeling if any. If you have anything. Yeah. So you have to be able to. Uh, a so, good kisser. so you make a guy wait a few uh, dates before you put out with them. I or, have, yeah. Do guys I'm, have? I'm kind of old school, am I? I mean, do maybe. they have unrealistic expectations? Like if you start dating a guy and then you you put out, and because you do porn, does the guy like think, oh, this is going to be the best sex of my life? Does he automatically always think that? You think? I yes, because I, I when I do have sex with them, and I had noticed this in like a couple of the guys that I've dated. They, I mean, they just, I mean, they come really fast. Wait, they climax. They climax. We have to re, oh, uh, rephrase. Sorry. They climax oh, very I'm sorry. quickly. They That's climax right. yeah. very fast. Yeah, because yeah. they're so worked up because they're doing a porn star. Or, or are you just really that good? I'm really that good. What you think you so? About? Yeah, of course. I'm not gonna say that because I'm a porn star. Yeah. So, so you, how old were you the first time you had sex? I was 14. 14. Years but it old. wasn't like I was. I just tried it once, and I was very active when I was like. I'm not going to lie, 16, 17. Yeah. You were getting around town. I just tried, I wanted to, <laughs> no, I had a boyfriend at the time. Yeah. But I, you know, like, 
of course you're going to try once. Sure. See how it feels, but. You didn't like it when you were like 14. You go, yeah. you go, this is what everyone's talking about. Yeah. This is what they're making a big deal about. And you didn't like it. And then you had to meet the guy when you were 16. He sort of turned you around yeah. and set you down the right exactly. the right path. Well, <laughs> Charmaine Starr is going to be at uh, Larry Flint's Hustler Club. Two performances. Uh, one at 10 o'clock tonight. 10 o'clock and, and midnight. midnight. Yep. You good dancer? And- uh, yeah, I put on a pretty good show. Yeah, I have, nice, have hot, all sorts sexy of sexy costume. little outfits and stuff. Yes, and I, you know, I do like a nice little lotion show, and then like my last show will be a nice champagne shower show. So oh, you're gonna enjoy that. So Sounds be, good. Yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, Larry Flint's Hustler Club is at 1101 Center Street. For info, call two one six three nine four zero one nine one. Uh, and her website is charmainestar.com. That's C H A R M A N E star.com. And her latest DVD, High Heel, Charmaine Star's High Heel Adventure. Mm-hmm. What is that? What do you step on people's balls and high heels or something? No, it's just like, you know, people that have like the foot fetish with the stockings and the high heels. Yeah. Do you, you, know, you, do, uh, you know, I I don't know. I don't really have that fetish, but There's, some Yeah, they love it. They yeah. Love the, oh, I know guys are into that stuff. Yeah. And like, sometimes they even want the, the shoe. They want to keep the shoes. That's creepy. They like the smell of it. That's creepy, I think, personally. But I don't, I don't know, know if they're kind of I don't know. What do you do you have any fetishes? What are what stuff that you're into, like just personally? Forget work, but what are you into? I'm not really into a lot of things. You like the guy to take control? Or I do take you like control, to take control? Yeah. I mean I don't really have much I mean I like I just like having a lot of sex. Just okay, just okay, a lot of regular sex. hot sex. Yeah. Just over and over as often yeah. as possible, pretty much. You don't have any weird like I know, mean I like um let me see. I've done like like shaving. I like yeah. to shave. Guys. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You got to be very careful when you do that. I uh, yeah. That's why it's so fun about it. <laughs> yeah. All sorts do you of, trust me? Yeah, well, your whole life's in her hands. Oh my God! You ain't lying, man. Holy moly! <laughs> when I lift the yeah, you know. You lift, lift up the balls. Yeah. And the you're, balls. You're, oh, man, you have to keep that taut. Otherwise, no, you stretch it. That's right. That's right. You, you have to stretch. Stre- keep yeah. that taut. Otherwise, you get, <laughs> don't let it loose. Don't let it loose and try it. <laughs> no, no, no. Definitely don't. Also, the other thing, I don't know how many guys I've talked to on this show that try, like, you know, they're like, I'm gonna trim up my ball hair. And they try and use clippers. Oh, I have. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Dude, don't try that. Out, man. Dude, don't try that because <laughs> clippers will. That sounds safer than. Uh, than, scissors, than a razor, right? Right. Yeah, it but, sounds yeah. safer, but don't do it. Don't do it, man. You will cut yourself like like nobody's business. I've actually made that. I used to shave completely. Mm-hmm. Like I just completely. Now it's just too much work. I don't, I don't want to do all that. But so now I just use clippers to like trim the pubes, keep them nice and short. Mm-hmm. But I will actually take a razor to the actual ball yeah, sack, sack and is... shave shave those. Yeah. Sometimes you're in a hurry, though. And you, so I'm sitting there shaving, you know, using the uh, clippers on the pubes, you know, like above your right. actual unit. And then you see like, you know, oh, my ball sack is a little hairy. Maybe I can just, you know, just use the clippers. I won't go right down to this. You know, I'll just get it, you know, just a little quick, zzz, zzz, you know. Shorten it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Big mistake. Don't ever do that because inevitably I nick myself and you start bleeding like a pig. It's no, it's no good. No, no good. <laughs> well, I hope Charmaine is much See, more that's, careful that's, that's shaving my guys. You like that yeah, shaving you guys? All right. Well, next time you're in town, I'll make sure I'll I'll grow my bush yeah. and be shaving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go see Charmaine Star at Larry Flint's Hustler Club uh, tonight at ten o'clock and at midnight or CharmaineStar.com. Hey Rover. Uh, yes. You have two VIP experiences to give away for people to go watch Charmaine. Main tonight. What is a VIP Ooh, experience? Uh, you have a card over there. Um, it lists everything you get. You get no cover charge, uh, special you seating. You and nine of your friends That's will right. get oh, in free wow. and have, oh have VIP yes. seating and bottle service. That's great. Right Who even has nine friends? That's so much. I don't even have nine friends. If you I was win gonna, this, if I was gonna, yeah, your friends come out of the woodwork. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah, your uncle that you haven't talked yeah. to in twelve years. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, uh, callers 30 and 31 then. I'll hook you up with a VIP experience to see Charmaine Star at the Hustler Club tonight. You and nine of your friends get in free. You'll have VIP seating and bottle service. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there you go. And uh, you'll take special care of I'll, all I'll these VIP. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, all right uh, Charmaine, thank you for coming in. Thank I'm going to take you. a quick break. We'll be right back on Rover's Morning Glory. Hang on. Rover's Morning Glory.